I got dressed up for you today because I couldn't look at myself any longer. And we have a very special announcement later on. But you know, it's business on the top and still a party on the bottom. <laughs> We're cooking a full day of meals for you and I'm on lunch duty. GZ just made a very delicious looking breakfast and I'm gonna keep it pretty simple with lunch. To me, there's nothing more comforting than a grilled cheese. So we're gonna do a chipotle mayo on the inside. Let me grab the ingredients for that. I just need a little bit of honey. And I've got some chipotle peppers in the fridge. Because they come in the can, I never use the whole thing. So I always save the extra either in the fridge, in a container, or I'll just freeze that. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna get some sweet pickles because my grandpa always served the grilled cheese with a side of sweet pickles. I'll put those there for later, and let's get to work on this chipotle mayo. Mayonnaise, to me, is basically a food group. I always liked mayonnaise, but now, I guess because I'm pregnant, <laughs> I am eating mayonnaise on everything. It's been one of my cravings. In fact, grilled cheese has been one of my cravings. Maybe that's another reason that we're eating it so often. So I'm gonna do a couple big scoops of mayonnaise. If you wanna make enough of this to have for other uses, like to have just in the refrigerator to be using on your sandwiches, use about a half a cup of mayo. And the chipotle peppers, I'm just gonna do one. So chipotles are ripe jalapenos that are smoked, so they have this great smoky flavor to them. If you like it spicy, you can add some more of that adobo sauce. This is still spicy as well. And I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit here. The mayo itself is salty, so you don't need a whole lot. And then I like to add a little touch of sweetness, so I put in a squeeze of honey. And you could get fancy with this. If you wanted to add a little bit of lime zest, you could do that. That would be yummy as well. A little bit of cilantro could be good. That looks good. If you wanted to use this for salad dressing, you could just add some lime juice or lemon juice, put in uh, a little dash of vinegar as well. Okay, that looks great. We're gonna use that on our sandwiches. Okay, come on down here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn my skillet on. I'm looking for medium heat. I think it's important when you make a grilled cheese to not go too hot because then it starts to burn before the cheese melts. I'm gonna need more mayonnaise for this. We're not done with just the chipotle mayo. All right, so I take my bread. I like to use white bread for this. Of course, you could use whatever you like. And then instead of butter, we're gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise on the outside. This is kind of a diner trick, and it gives you this wonderful golden brown crispiness. All right, flip them over. More mayonnaise. I told y'all I was craving mayonnaise. I can't get enough of it. There we go. And see that nice chipotle mayo with all that good spice? I'm just gonna spread that on. Grandpa would just do regular mayonnaise on the inside. So if you are not into spicy, just put a layer of mayonnaise on here. It's gonna be delicious. Now, <laughs> Grandpa always used the processed cheese. You know the kind I'm talking about this that comes in the foil packaging and it's shelf stable which is really good for quarantine, because you can buy this and just keep it in your pantry until you're ready to use it. All right, so a nice generous slice, but just a little bit more. I want every little piece of this sandwich to have cheese on it. And then bacon, because of what makes everything better, bacon. Now I've been really into meal prep lately with the quarantine. So I'll take a package of bacon and cook the whole package and keep it in the fridge. Then I can use it for sandwiches. I can use it just to heat up real quick in the morning. Or if I'm making a salad and I wanna crumble a little bit of bacon on it, that is really a nice way to do it. All right, so into the pan, hear that nice sizzle. And then I like to put a lid on it and cover it up. And if you don't have a lid on your pan or if you're using a griddle, just use a metal mixing bowl to domic so that you get the even toasting of the bread and the melting of the cheese. Give it a flip. Ah, look at that perfectly golden brown and crispy. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
Mm-hmm. Wave to yourself, honey. Hello. <laughs> All right, while that cheese melts, I'm gonna make my plate. I've gotta get my sweet gherkins on here. I love a gherkin. And potato chips. People keep saying to me, oh, if you're salty, that means you're having a boy. If you're sweet, that means you're having a girl. And I said, what if I want both? Ooh, almost ready. It looks like somebody's getting hungry over here. Let's see how that sandwich is doing. I want my cheese to be really melty. <laughs> All right, come on in, babe. That is what I am talking about, okay? Ooh, I can't wait to eat it. All right, here we go. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, even bacon on the pull. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, and on my hand seat. Mm, this is the beauty of being at home. <laughs> you can eat it however you want. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a bite of this. Mm. 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 Smoky, spicy, that salty bacon in there. Ryan, because I love you so much, I'm willing to share some of this with you. Oh, yeah. Turn around so they can see you. Mm. What do you think? This is good. This is real good. <laughs> I love to support my mail. <laughs>